Was it your goal to be the best basketball player on the planet? Yes, it was, yeah. Did you achieve that? Um, well, it's funny, like, you know, as a kid, you know, I was growing up and I said, you know, I want to be the greatest that ever played, right? And, and then as you get older, you start understanding that there's really, there's no real answer to that, right? And, you know, I found a lot of comfort once I realized that my goal really is to be the best player I can be. And then what that means is that means helping my teammates be the best players that they can be. <laughs> and once I figured that out, um, then my game went to another level. When did you figure that out, and how did you figure that out? What was the transformation? Trial and error. It was a process. I mean, you, you keep banging your head into a wall. You know, eventually, you're going to try to look for the door and the key. You know, and so um, that's what I had to do. And it was a lot of research for me. It was a lot of reading. It was a lot of studying. It was a lot of listening and try to really figure out what makes people tick. And uh, how do you motivate your teammates? I mean, it's one thing to say, do this, do that. But how do you really motivate them to the point where they feel where they're the ones asking the questions of how to improve themselves? Like, when you, how do you flip the switch with, help somebody flip the switch within themselves um, to want to reach their full potential? And, and that, that's really the dance. So you're banging your head against this wall and this door. Are you saying at that time you were stubborn? I'm stubborn now. I mean, I, <laughs> you know, I'm just a little less stubborn. <laughs> I'm stubborn with a greater sense of perspective. How about that? When they came to you with questions, how did you know how to motivate and who you could push and who you couldn't? Was that also trial and error? Yeah, um, it is, uh, and it was. Um, but for the most part, you know, what I had to become better at was just listening. Just listen, right? You know, the guys, are, they'll, they'll tell you how they're feeling. They'll, they'll tell you, you know, where their um, insecurities lie, uh, where their strengths are, and you just have to listen have to really understand it. And it's hard in professional sports because, like if you watch a game, you watch teams warm up, right? And you'll see players, that, most of the players are really locked in internally. Like they're locked into their own situation, you know, their routine, right? And uh, what I started doing is as I started stepping back and instead of working on this shot, that shot before a game, I started watching, you know, what is Powell doing? What is Lamar doing? You know, what's D Fish doing? You can kind of see you know, what their temperament is. So it's, it's, it's listening, it's listening, and it's also observing and, and, and taking that all into account. 